OK, our college kids are approaching the pointy end of the year exams. So how can we help? Joining us on Coffee Group, parenting coach Nick Gaze and naturopath and founder of Sleep Drops, Kirsten Taylor. Good morning, guys. Hi. Hi, Mel. Lovely to have you both in the studio. Great to be here. Uh, let's start with you, Nick. You have three, you've got four kids, three teens. Do they get stressed and anxious? Absolutely. It would be unfair to think that they didn't have to um, navigate extra stress at this time. Um, I think the thing is as parents is just kind of trying to be tuned into your children and working out how they are navigating that stress. So for some, one of my child, child, children, she is, um, I shouldn't say that, should I? It's kind of given away. She can be a little bit more sort of grumpy and emotional and so it's probably about me just giving her a little bit more grace at that time. Just letting things go and then um, yeah probably for the, the boys they probably internalize things a little bit more so it's about me just moving in a bit closer getting the talking going we're talking about that before just how important it is to be yeah. communicating Keep with them. Keep that communication happening. Um, Kirsten how do you spot the stress in your 15 year old? Does the behaviour change? Yeah, ever so slightly. He's pretty good. I mean I brought him up as a single mum and I think that whole desire of mine to communicate with him so I've, over the years I've taught him Right. to really be you know, conscious to his process and if he's feeling stressed or scared or upset about anything to come and talk to me about mm. it. And all of those years of doing it when he's young is starting to pay dividends now oh, that's because good. just recently he had his mocks and he came to me one night and said, oh mum, I'm feeling a bit stressed. And I was like, hey buddy, that's so cool. Thanks so much for letting me know. Okay, what do you need? What should mm. we do? Do we need to put a plan in place? You know, maybe can we help with your study schedule? What do we need to do to take the pressure off you? Because, I mean, it's easy for us to say as adults, yeah. but worrying doesn't help. It mm. doesn't help at all, especially unnecessary worry. And the thing though is with mothers is sometimes we can over-analyse the things too. We have to get yeah. that right sort of distance yeah. happening, don't we? Mm. And Nick, how do you handle revision in your house? Yeah, well, actually, interestingly enough, a couple of weeks ago, I, I said to my 17-year-old, should we sit down sometime and work out your revision schedule together? And he was like, Mum, I've got this, you've got to trust me. And I thought, you know, good on you. And actually, yeah, and I said that to him. I said, okay, that's, that sounds great. I'm really proud of you. It is your responsibility. And I think it's important that we communicate that with our, to our children, that they know it is actually their responsibility, but we're there to support them. Um, so I said, well, how about when you've done it, that we sit down and just go through it together? And that really then is an opportunity for me to be able to give him some feedback and go, hey, this looks great, well done. And I did throw in there, let's have a little look at your gaming schedule at the same time. My daughter, however, after a couple of different conversations um, I think she's finally come around to the, to the idea that actually it could be helpful to have a revision schedule so quite different and so I think it's just about working out where they are being able to just be that gentle guide be present yeah. supportive a word that we use at that parenting place is scaffolding and so it's just looking at what what type of scaffolding does your child need to mm. succeed? And they all are different, that's for sure. Yeah. Um, Kirsten, how important is a good night's sleep? Obviously sleep near and dear to your heart or everyone's oh, heart. Oh well, I'm a big fan of sleep <laughs> as you know, but the, the research behind sleep and the impact it has on exam outcomes is really, really clear. We all know ourselves, if we haven't had a good night's sleep, we oh, yeah. can wake up the next day and literally forget our neighbour's name that we've lived next door to <laughs> for five years or yes. whatever. Yeah. And while we're sleeping, you have to achieve deep sleep to get what they call memory consolidation. So for me, especially during this recent time of mock exams and the build up to practicing and saying, you've got to prioritise sleep. Parents make the mistake of letting their kids stay up later to let them study, doing that last minute cram. Mm -hmm. But actually, a more powerful technique would be making them go to bed on time. And then the next day, in the exam, they will literally be able to recall faster and with more accuracy the information that they've learned. Wow, so off mm. the devices before bed too. Um, what about sleep drops? How do they help? Well, these little... <laughs> thank you for asking. Thank you for asking. <laughs> these little... Bo this remedy turns off a busy mind and that's important because when they've been trying to cram lots of information or trying to remember all of the different things that they've learnt, they can sometimes over worry mm. and they can be thinking, oh gosh, will I remember, will I, won't I? So what we've got to do is turn off the mind naturally and allow them to drop off to sleep and then the sleep nutrients feed all the deep restorative sleep pathways and get them into that slow wave, the deep restorative sleep mm. where that memory consolidation happens. But also, as you know, with teenagers, they're growing so fast yes. and the brain loves magnesium, which is one of the key ingredients in this, and it feeds all of those neuronal pathways. So essentially, 
they're getting great sleep, you know they're going to wake up refreshed in the morning, their memory is going to work, but also we're boosting their immune system and taking care of their whole body while they're sleeping. Excellent, that is so good to hear. Well, it's been yeah. a pleasure having you both in the studio. I could talk Thank for a long you. time about this subject. Thank you so much. Uh, and also, the coffee group was brought to you today by Sleep Drops, and Kirsten has brought along Sleep Drops for everyone in our studio audience today.